I love that there's the story of like what you're going through as you're preparing one of these. But then there's also like people like me, people like Sarah, like what we're experiencing as you're painting, like what kind of a dynamic does that add when you're painting live for people? Well, and that's a lot of the backbone of this or at least what I've done with God, what he's wove in directionally for me. Because he invited me, you know, as I got to doing this with him, we had many conversations of what is this going to look like? What, what's your heart? What do you want to do, Lord? You know, what does this look like? Um, so that I can match my efforts and my time, you know, to, to your vision of this. And, um, and that was a huge piece is that he came to me and he's like, I want you to create spaces for me to invade, to speak to my children so that my children can encounter me. I want you to create clean spaces, you know, and I say clean more like, um, you know, artistically that there's no hangups. There's no, uh, you know, they're pure visions from heaven. Um, stick to what I show you, you know, keep it pure and, um, create a space so that I have room to move and minister to my people. Even when you're not in the room it, through that painting. And so that was always the, he, the challenge even from the beginning. This was, there's, there's so much that is it's not about me. You know, I just get to stand in that space and create with him. He's creating for his children. I just get the amazing honor and pleasure of standing in that space to partner with him to create more of a space of encounter than a painting. Yeah, so has that ever changed the way that a painting finishes? Because you're doing so much preparation on the front end and then you show up and depending on what's happening in the room, does that ever kind of change the life of the painting? Usually I will, it brings understanding to me. Hmm. I go into most of them with a lot of mystery a lot of mystery. You know, they, I want this this way, I want this this way, I want this this color, I want this positioned here. And as, you know, the weekend or whatever, as the event unfolds and people see the painting coming to, you know, actually, you know, happen and, you know, watch it. Um, and then I see their response and the things that they say, it, it's fascinating because they'll be like, oh, well, that is exactly like so-and-so or whatever. Or God was talking to me about this and this matches that exactly. And God was just talking to me about that. And, you know, and so I will, I have learned to really sit in that space and enjoy it because it's like the secret, you know, these secrets that God paints into these pictures for his children that I know nothing about, but he does. And and the power of, you know, and allowing, you know, really partnering with God and allowing Him to have that mystery in that space. I don't need to know it all. You know, I don't need to know why you want that, that color. I'm okay. If you want to tell me, great. I'll listen. You know, I definitely, that, that you know, but if God doesn't want me to know some of the details or He doesn't share some of the details, I'm okay with that. And sometimes I never find out. But a lot of times I will go into a situation and and it'll be unveiled and people will, you know, describe how that ministered to them. And I had no clue or idea that it would do that. I just followed the obedience of the rabbi artist. That's how he wanted it done. So I did. 